Welcome back to Command and Conquer Tiberian Dawn for MS Dawns. Welcome back to Sixth Mission for not one last time. Then we're done with the options here. It's never more than three, so that's kind of the maximum you get. And this one here has actually three completely different maps. So it's a uh, it's not fully unique in that regard, but it gives you a bit more to work with than some of the other missions. Nigeria this time. Only 88 million people here. That has that has changed quite a bit since. I was starting to trust you, but now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. Here we go. So this time we have some flame troopers, which could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Let's have you here do some, some scouting here. You don't have the best sideways, to be perfectly honest, but hey, you just flamed those guys. Nice. Also without blowing yourself up. Oh, oh snap. Well, it would have been even more useful if you didn't accidentally killed yourself more often and towards the flame troops they're pretty they're somewhat powerful and their range is actually a bit better than it looks so their range doesn't look that great but it's a bit better than the animation suggests in any case let's have you scout a little bit more this is probably the trickiest of the three options for this mission here still not massively difficult or anything just a bit trickier than the other options there we go i knew it it took a lot of firepower to to bring those guys down but you know what well, you're still alive, which is kind of amazing, to be perfectly honest. Hey, oh, Nam, I guess that didn't work out. That's fine. We've got more, f more flame where that came from. The good thing is also that the minigunners have, like, no range, so they actually have to come in fairly close. Really? Okay. We've got one more of you. We are just taking out a couple of grenadiers, and a bazooka troopers is already going to make this a little, a little bit easier than it otherwise would be. Fun fact, you do get engineers, and the GI base has... Uh, you know what, you maybe stay back again, same reason. The GI base does have a construction yard, a refinery, barracks and everything, so you can build a full base here, but just in case you're curious, there's no tr credit transfer between this mission here and the other, and the next one, so that doesn't really, it doesn't really get you much, but I guess you can take over the base if you'd like to. So let's take you here out. Across the br oh yeah, you got yourself immediately destroyed there. I didn't even see you coming. That's fine, however. There we go. Everybody cross the bridge. You take out these, these here, and you can just go through. Yeah, that should be fine. So where's that detonator? Where's that detonator? What's over here? Ah, uh, that was not so great. Uh, well, we still have plenty of troops left here, so we should be fine. Someone just touch this this thing here, and you you already go. I said, you already go. Well, whatever, just as try to escape here. Okay. Yeah, you don't actually have to collect the, the detonator with any specific unit. You just have to, I think you might even just have to enter the area. Like, I think you have to enter the tile below it, and then you have to be here. So, because that's just how the game works, but I guess you'll have to do it now. I'm not quite sure how we're going to transport the... The tank was a Chinook transport, but maybe we aren't. But actually, you can do that if you can modify the way the game in a way that you can drop anything via Chinook transport. In fact, that does happen in one of the demo missions. That's the only mission where you get vehicle reinforcements via Chinook, which is a little bit hacky. Well, not actually, it isn't. That's it's supposed to work like that. It's just not used in the main game, and it's not really that plausible, is it? And again, maybe you could carry like a hammer, with, uh, like below a Chinook, 
Who knows, I'm not a military hardware expert. Thanks for watching, I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.